Dear partners, we are happy to announce that from now on, the digital indicators Escort i5 we launched recently can be connected and configured via our app for Android devices. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to connect the i5, how to manage its password, how to pair the wired and BLE sensors with it, and how to configure its operating mode. In the next video, we will be covering saving the tank calibration tables in the i5's memory, configuring how the data is displayed on its screen, and how to configure the retransmission of the data of BLE sensors from the indicator to the tracker or gateway. Device power up. Before anything, connect the indicator to a power supply. The red wire is power and the black one ground. The screen of the device will not come online unless you pair a sensor with it and press on one of the buttons on the i5 first. Don't worry if you don't see anything immediately after the device is powered up. Connection and configuration. Once the device is powered up, switch the Bluetooth of your smartphone on and check if the geolocation servers is activated and the Escort app has access to it. Next, run the app, go to the sensor settings and select the indicator i5 option. Then select the indicator you need to configure or search for it by means of the last six digits of its serial number. Alternatively, you can press the scan button and scan the QR code of the indicator. Password management. We ship the i5s with no passwords established in their settings. If you connect the indicator for the first time and try to change any of its settings, you will be required to set up a password. If the password has already been established, enter it. Pairing sensors. You can pair up to 10 sensors with the same i5. These can be both wired and BLE sensors. The wired sensors must have the RS-485 interface and the LLS data communication protocol. Their baud rate must be 19,200 kilobits per second. As to the BLE sensors, only the Escort BLE sensors TD, DU, TH, TL are compatible. To pair the BLE sensors, open the Connect Sensors menu and press the plus button. Then select the wireless option and either enter the MAC address of the sensor or the letters of its model name and the last six digits of its serial number and tap Connect. Both the MAC address and the serial number can be found on the sensor's head. The MAC address can also be found in the Escort mobile app on Android devices. On iOS, the MAC addresses of any devices are not displayed because of the confidentiality policy of Apple. Also, you can pair the sensor by pressing the scan button and then scanning its QR code with the camera of your smartphone. You can also pair the wired sensors via the RS-485 interface and that can be any Escort TD sensor or DU-180, DGV-200 and ALS, the water level sensor. Go to the Connect Sensors menu, press the plus button and select the wired option. Then enter the network address of the sensor and every sensor must have a unique network address that can be configured via the Escort Configurator for PC or the Escort mobile app. Note that after the wired sensor is paired, you will not see any readings coming from it immediately unless it is already connected to a GPS tracker gateway or unless the indicator is configured in the RS-485 active mode. We will cover that in a bit. To delete the paired sensor, press and hold it, then swipe to the left, then tap on the delete button. i5's operating modes. The default operating mode of the indicator is the passive RS-485 mode. That means that the i5 will display the data of the wired sensors paired with it only if there is an external device that is requesting the data 
from the sensor or sensors. Or the sensor must be configured in the RS-485 active mode so it could transmit its data without any requests being sent to it. In this setup, the lines RS-485A and B, the orange and the white wires of the sensor, must be connected to the lines RS-485A and B of all other devices, including the indicator. If you plan to connect the wired sensor only to the i5, so there will be no GPS tracker or other external device, then the i5 must be configured in the RS-485 active mode. Open the mode settings menu, select the active mode and configure the interval at which the requests will be sent to the sensor or sensors. Then press the button to save the changes. After that, the indicator will start requesting the data from the wired sensor or sensors and you will see their readings in the app. 